virgins were seeking the sun, previously descended into the grave. And they cried out to one another, Come, O oh friends, let us anoint with fragrant spices the life-giving and yet already buried body of Christ, who resurrected the fallen Adam. Let us hasten, as did the Magi, and adore Christ, and bring our more as a gift to him, who is wrapped not in swaddling clothes, but in a shroud. Let us weep and exclaim, Arise, O Master, granting resurrection to the fallen. Blastus Elia Christo Ove, Yesha, O Polizia Siapam Hospodo, Isu.
thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever.
the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld His glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. John bore witness to Him and cried, This was He of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me, for He was before me. And from His fullness have we all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus
They were afraid, my friends. They were afraid to go out into the streets of Jerusalem. They were afraid. Afraid to show their faces unless there was a mask or a scarf to cover their faces. They were afraid, why? Not to be recognized as Jesus' followers. They were afraid to go outside. This year, Easter 2020, we together can understand their fear. As we stay behind closed doors, as we cover our faces, before an invisible enemy. We are exactly like they were that first Easter Sunday in Jerusalem. Yet hiding behind closed doors, the risen Lord appears to them with the words, Peace be with you. What is the lesson for us today? Well, when we cannot go to Easter, go to Pascha, Easter comes to us. When we cannot go to Jesus, our risen Lord, when out of justifiable fear, we are behind closed doors, Jesus comes to us. And this year, Easter 2020, he is telling you and me the same message. Peace be with you, my brother. Peace be with you, my sister. Peace be with you, our children. And this is not some, you know, casual greeting. Hey, how you doing? Oh, no. Peace be with you is a message of hope. A message of hope for us today. But the choice of hope is up to you and me. What do I mean by that? Let's have a look. Before the disciples of our Lord before they saw Jesus, their house, where they were staying in Jerusalem, their house became their tomb. Their doors of faith have been closed. They have locked themselves inside. They have locked themselves in fear. Now we have to be careful because that can happen to you and me, to us nowadays. Locking ourselves in. Not just inside our houses. But locking ourselves in spiritually. Locking ourselves in emotionally. Locking ourselves in can be dangerous. Remember, do not barricade yourself behind closed doors this Easter Sunday. Allow the risen Lord to come to you. Allow the risen Lord to come to you so that you can breathe in the words, that Easter message, peace be with you. Allow the risen Lord to come into your domestic church, into your home, so that you can breathe in those words, peace be with you, and embrace your loved one. Allow the risen Lord to come in and, and breathe in those words, peace be with you, when you pick up the phone to call a loved one who is alone who needs to hear from you. Allow yourself to breathe in those words, peace be with you, 
When you're on your porch and you see your neighbor and you wave at that person and greet them with the message of resurrection. Breathe in those words, peace be with you. And write a card to a friend, an email, a text message. It is so important for us as we stay behind the doors to allow Christ to come in with that wonderful message of love, of comfort, peace be with you. But on this Easter Sunday, take some time to identify the closed doors, the closed places in your life. What are they? Are they fear? Are they uncertainty? Are they sorrow? sorrow? Is it a loss? Once you identify them, invite our risen Lord in prayer to come in. Breathe in that new life into us. You know, he does just open up the door for us. But our risen Lord, he gives us all we need so that we might open our doors into new life. New life. This year, Easter 2020, the message I have for you is a simple one. The words of our risen Lord. Peace be with you. And remember, nowadays being homebound, being behind closed doors is no barrier. It's no barrier for our business Lord. My friends, peace be with you. Christos vos Christ Christ is risen.
vicariously react to the monastic orders. Our nation under God, our government and all of the service of our country. The noble and ever memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our parish family here at St. Gregory's, the children, the youth, the shuttles, those who are hospitalized and recovered. 
is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray, make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number.
our nation in peace and freedom. Protect the church that may be unshaken and without fear. Grant that our life may be holy and undefiled. Keep the whole world peaceful and make us worthy to spiritually celebrate this holy feast. That flows with joy and, and purity of life, we may become worthy of the heavenly kingdom. For you are God, Savior, and we give glory to you together with the eternal Father, and your holy good and life, great spirit, now and ever.
Peace, health, and happiness for many. Happy